All right, good morning, everybody. It's Mr. Lauren, and I have our Busy Animals Activity Book and a new box of crayons. I'm so excited, I love a new box of crayons. So I'm gonna open up my crayons just to make sure they're all here. And look and see at all the colors. There's so many cool colors, so many shades. There's dark blue and light blue and purple and pink and orange. I have a whole activity right here just looking at the colors. Wow. All right, I'm gonna put my crayons over here so they're out of sight. I don't really need them right now because I'm gonna look at my activity book. Whenever I get a new book, I love to look at the cover and see what's happening. I can see so many letters here. The word, the letter B, this says busy. Here's the word animals, A-N-I-M-A-L-S. This has like all the letters of all our names, except I don't see a D. And what other animal letter? I don't see an R. We need a D for Daria. We need an R also for Rayon. And we need a W for Weston and a G. Oh, it's missing so many letters. I don't see Geo's name. Oh my goodness. Okay, we'll have to keep looking inside our book. But look at all these animals. I see a picnic happening down here. Looks like there's a map. I see some animals. There's a squirrel. Looks like they're camping too. So whenever I get a new book, I like to look inside too. Let's see what's happening inside this book. I'm just going to move my crayons out of the way because they're going to get knocked over. Let's see. You can open your book too. You can open it with me. Let's look at this front page. I'm making it a little smooth so it stays open. And here's the word again. Busy Animals Activity Book. There's all those letters. I love the word book because there's two O's right there. It's almost like they're looking right at me. Book and look in rhymes book right here so if i take an l it won't be book it'll be look mm, i bet you can make some other words with different letters like if we take the c and put it here hmm it'd be k -uk cook so so many fun things let's see oh there's also this big white page right here how are people going to know it's my book well since this is a keeping book, it's not from the library, I'm gonna put my name on it. Let's see, I'm gonna look inside here, find a color of mine. If you hear some rattling in the background, that's the guinea pig, that's Cookie. She's drinking some water from her little water feeder. I'll introduce you to her another time. So I have my blue crayon I'm gonna use. I'm gonna hold it like this, just like Miss Cindy and Miss Jess would have me do. I'm kind of pinching it here. We call it a tripod, kind of like a tricycle, because it has one, two, three fingers. So a tripod or a tricycle. So here's my tripod. I'm going to make my name. My name, just like Lara, starts with an L. Uh, I pull down and over. L. Uh, I need an R in there. I need an E. I'm going to pull down and three shelves. One, two, three. Lauren, mm, I need an, an mm on the end. I wonder what letter, an mm. It's gonna be my pull down and then down and up. Lauren, there it is, Lauren. And to make it official, I'm gonna put a mister up here. This is how we write mister when you're a grown up. If I was a girl, I'd be a miss or a missus, but I'm gonna be a mister, Mr. Lauren. All right, there's my name. I'm gonna put my crayon back so I don't lose it. If I lose my crayon, you know me, I'll cry. I'll need a tissue. Here we go. My Busy Animals Activity Book. I'm gonna turn the first page. Ooh, this one's all about space. It's called Meerkat Moon Base. That page looks like fun. Here's another one. Animal, ooh, there's some capes. They must be superheroes. And all these other costumes at the bottom you can see here. Well, the little penguin, he's saying, which one is my suit? Looking A, B, or C, which one? Hmm. Here's another one with some mazes and other animals and lots of squiggly lines. Ooh, this one looks interesting. This one's called Rolling Rhinos. You can see, look, oh, they're on roller skates. 
wait a minute, there was somebody else who was on roller skates not too long ago. I think his name started with an M, an M. Mikey, Mikey, do you remember? You went roller skating. You said it was hard. You kept falling down like this. This rhino saying, uh-oh. That's what I look like. Actually, I think I'm more like that one. Kind of hanging out of the side. Which one are you like? Did you find one that is like you? Are you fast? Are you slow and out of breath? <laughs> this one looks so angry. This one looks so happy. Wow. And these these are the ones there at their locker. I guess they're getting their shoes. I see sneakers here. Then they have to go get their roller roller skates. Yeah, these are the ones, Mikey, like you had with the wheels in a line. Sometimes they're like shoes with the wheels or they're not in a line. They look like a, like you're standing on cars. So we could try this activity. This one's called Rolling Rhinos. Whoosh, zoom. Fill the skating rink with roller skating rhinos. That means we have to find some rhinos to put in. So if we look in our book and we turn to another page, there are stickers. So many stickers. I see stickers over here of a zebra. There's, mm, I don't know, that looks like a yak. Hmm, some different animals, cows. I have to find the one that's like a, looks like a rhino. Sometimes they're in order. So there's so many stickers, so many. I'm gonna go to the one of the first pages of a, oh wait, do you see them? I think I found them. I'm gonna give you some time to find your rhinos too. So you have to go to the pages that are kind of green and they're all the sticker pages. There's so many. This one has, I don't know, a gazillion rhinos. Some look like me, ooh, ooh, ooh. and some look like you. Aha! Some are holding hands. So when you find your rhinos, we're going to take the stickers off. Peeling a sticker can be a little tricky, so I'm going to show you my trick, but don't tell anybody else, okay? This is our trick for room 11. What I do is I find a sticker I like. I'm going to try this one, the one that has a red shirt and I'm gonna bend the page a little bit, just a little bit, and then you can kind of see there's a bump here. Just a little bit, and I'm gonna try and find the edge and pull so carefully. If I go too fast, it might rip and take the sticker off. And then I found my sticker, the Rhino, and I'm gonna go back to my Rhino page, which is back here. And I have to find a good spot for him. He's like rocking and rolling here. He's holding something. I think he's holding a, either a drink or a phone. I don't know if you should roller skate with a phone. I'm going to put him right up here. He's going to be skating over here. That's kind of cute. Then I kept the page here, so I'm going to go back. And if you want, you can always stick something in here so you don't lose your spot, like a bookmark. I'm going to take a piece of paper. And let me find a piece of paper that I can use, an old scrappy piece. And I'm going to put it right in here. That way, when I close my book, I won't lose it. I can find my paper and go right here like a bookmark. I'm going to find another rhino. I'm going to find this one that fell on his bottom. Oh, he looks so sad. Again, let's see. I have to bend the page a little bit so I can feel an edge. There we go. Feel the edge a little bit. All right, I found it. I'm going to let the pages go. Here's my paper. And this one did rip a little bit. It ripped a little bit, but you know what? I'm not going to cry because I don't want to get my workbook wet. I'm going to put this right over. Hmm. Maybe these are out of breath. If I put him here, they're going to roller skate right into him. So maybe I'll put him at the end of the line, way over here. Now it's not one, two, three, four, five. Now I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six rhinos. Looks like he's first. He's going the fastest. He's in second place, third place, fourth place, <gasps> fifth place, and oh man, sixth place. That's okay though. But I do see at the bottom, look down here, there's some trophies. One, two, three. This one's the biggest one. This must be for the first place 
rhinoceros. And this must be for the second place. It's the second, second largest. And this is the smaller one. So that's probably the third place. I'm going to turn my page again. I have to find three rhinos. Three rhinos that are going to be the winners. Let's see. I think the first winner, this one looks, let's see, this, oh, she looks really happy. I'm going to get her and pull it so gently. Then I'm going to put her. She will be the second place winner. She's going to say, thank you very much. I won second place. I'm the second place winner. Now I'm going to find the third place winner, the smallest trophy. Let's find somebody for the smallest. Who is the th third place winner? How about, ooh, this rhino here looks so excited with the green pants. I'm going to pick him. I think it's a him. I'd have to ask him if, if he's a he or if he's a she. Let's see. I'm going to put the rhino right over here. Number three. Let's see. I'm going to put a little cricket so he doesn't cover up the trophy. He's, he's kind of excited sideways. Now I need the number one rhino. Which rhino will be number one? Numero uno. Let's see. I'm wondering what Max is thinking and Eli and Jacob. Which ones are you going to pick? I wonder which one Mikey is going to pick and Daria. I think I know which one Lara would pick. And let's see. I think I'm going to pick the little baby right here. Oh, because that's the one Weston would pick. Right, West? Maybe not. Number one right here. Oh, I'm the winner. The winner. The winner. I don't know. What do you think? You think you'd be the winner? I think so. I'm going to take my bookmark out. And I want to find out from you if you can draw a rhino. If you can draw one. I'm going to try and draw a rhino. They're using blue, so I'm going to pick a blue one. Is this the same blue I used before or maybe a different one? I can't tell. So here's my rhino. I'm going to draw a rhino. I'm going to draw circle 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 stop then the rhino's body he kind of has a big body so i'm gonna draw another like an oval 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 stop and then he needs two legs one two he needs two arms he's gonna put his arms up in the air one two and then rhinos are really interesting they have something on their nose right here it's kind of pointy do you know what it is oh you do it's a horn it's a horn so i'm going to draw their horn it's kind of like pointy oh it looks like a v looks like a v kind of a v like in mikey like your last name and then eyes and then ears their ears have kind of a floppy ear i'm going to draw little bumps almost like rainbows there's their ears, and then Daria, don't show this to your mom because she's a good artist. She will, she will say, "What are you drawing, Mr. Lauren?" And then a lot of them are wearing skates. So I'm gonna draw a circle, 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 stop, circle, 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 stop, and then the little wheels on the bottom are teeny tiny circles. It's good we're doing this now with our crayon because it's sharp. You can draw a circle. If I turn my crayon over. It'd be hard to draw a circle because they're so big and fat. So I made a little mark. I'm just going to draw a ball. Someone dropped their ball. There's my little guy. Oh, and a lot of them have numbers. So I'm going to draw, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a letter because mine is Mr. Lauren. There I am. There I am skating. Woohoo. I'm not going to fall. I'm not going to fall. In fact, I'm going to go so fast. Remember how we do fast lines? I'm going to race. Maybe I can get down here and get a trophy. What do you think? I don't know. So let's see if you can draw a rhino. And I want to see if you can get more stickers of rhinos. Don't get stickers of bears or dogs or monkeys because we're going to need those another time. And here's more rhinos. And these are ice, these are skating too. So I guess they gave us some extra skating rhinos. 
I'm going to go back to the rhinos. There they are. I can tell this is the one because there's some missing. See if you can use up some rhinos and fill up this roller skating rink. I want to see what kind of party you're going to have. All right. Have fun. And then don't forget, you can take a picture of it and then you can send it to me. All right. Send it to Mr. Lauren. And then I can see we can post all our photos, maybe on Homeroom. We can see what we did, all our artwork. It'll be so much fun. All right. Have fun. See you later.